Join Pastor Sean Pinner in Plano, Texas for three nights of miracles at the Plano Event Center, Tuesday through Thursday, August 13 through 15 at 7 p.m. nightly. Come and experience a life-changing time of anointed worship and powerful preaching and witness the power of God live as souls are saved, the sick are healed, and lives are transformed. Register today. Visit MiracleNights.net to register. This is your time for a miracle. See you there. All heaven declares, thank you, Lord, the glory of the risen Lord. Who can compare, thank you, Lord Jesus, with the beauty of the Lord, I will proclaim, thank you, Lord Jesus, the glory of the risen Lord, who once was slain to reconcile man to God. Come on, church. Forever he will be a lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow the knee to worship you alone. I will proclaim, I will proclaim. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the glory of the risen Lord, who once was slain to reconcile man to God. Forever he will be. The Lamb upon the throne, I gladly bow the knee to worship you alone. I will, I will proclaim the glory of the rain. Lord, who once was slain to reconcile man to God, forever he will be the Lamb upon the throne. Gladly bow the knee to worship you alone. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, may in past day we lift your wonderful people up before you right now. Father God, we pray for them. We pray for the victory in their lives, for the breakthrough. We pray that the word of God would come alive to them and strengthen them and place their feet on a firm foundation as we teach the word of God to them. Let their relationship with you grow stronger and stronger. Let them grow closer and closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we ask you to bless your people beyond measure. Let your perfect will be done in and through all of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say amen. God bless you. We'd like to welcome you again to this morning prayer broadcast where we are continuing our series. You are never alone. You're never alone. And after these four sessions, we may shift gears and focus on another topic. Amen. This is something the Holy Spirit placed in my heart to share with you, to encourage God's people, to let them know you literally, you are never alone.
God is with you, friends. We, I want to take you into the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 as we talk about delivered from all evil. This is a situation in the life of the apostle Paul where Paul was deserted. Have you ever been deserted? Have you ever been let down? It happens. Life happens. Things happen. You're listening to me. Circumstances and situations change. The scripture says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 9, verse 9 through 18, the apostle Paul, he's saying, do thy diligence to come shortly to me. He was urging Timothy to come to be with him. Listen to what Paul said in verse 10. For Demas hath forsaken me. This was a disciple of Paul. He turned his back on Paul and the ministry. Listen to what Paul says in verse 10. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, press Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. So Paul was saying, Demas was supposed to have my back. But Demas forsook Paul when Paul needed him the most. He let Paul down. For Demas hath forsaken me. And then Paul tells you why. Having love this present world, he backslid. He could not resist temptation. He went back into the world. He yielded himself back over to Satan. The Bible says friendship with this world is enmity with God. You can't do both. You're either all the way saved or you're all the way lost. There ain't no in between. There ain't no gray areas here. Are you listening to me? So when Paul needed this young disciple the most, his disciple, he was not there for Paul. And of course, Paul is, this, all, this is almost Paul lamenting. He says, he, t he tells Timothy in verse 9, do thy diligence to come shortly, come as fast as you can. I need you, Timothy. I need somebody with me. Are you listening? Now, let's keep going. Notice what he says in verse 11. Paul says, only Luke is with me. And then Paul makes an astonishing admission at the end of this. He says, take Mark and bring him with thee for he is profitable to me for the ministry. This is Paul admitting he made a mistake because John Mark didn't stood up with, with him and Barnabas, John Mark being a nephew of Barnabas, Paul's, when it was time for them to travel again, Paul said, uh-uh-uh-uh, John Mark ain't traveling with me. He deserted us the last time. He may do it again. But Barnabas was such a gracious man. He was the one that took Paul in when none of the apostles or disciples wanted to receive or accept Paul into their ministry and into their ranks. Barnabas, the son of consolation, his name means. Barnabas took Paul on his wing. And now Barnabas is thinking, wait a minute, Paul. When no one wanted to accept you, I took you under my wing. I gave you another, I gave you a chance. But Paul was too radical <laughs> at that moment in his walk with God. But he admits later, please send Mark. Send, send, take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Isn't that awesome that a man of God can admit that he was wrong and made mistakes? Only one perfect person, and that was Jesus. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. He said, only Luke is with me. My God, take Mark and bring him with thee, for he's profitable to me in the ministry. And Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus, the cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. And then Paul, he's still lamenting, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Paul, Paul is letting you know you may be saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost, God's working mightily in your life, but it doesn't mean it's not going to be without trouble. And he said, Alexander the coppersman. Paul named this guy. Paul said he did him much evil. But Paul said the Lord is going to reward him according to his works. I wouldn't want to be Alexander. I wouldn't want to be him. Amen. Now watch this. We're going somewhere with this. Just hang with me. 
Paul says, of whom be thou aware also. Paul's telling Timothy, be aware of Alexander. He is a dangerous man. I mean, Paul don't hold no punches, does he? Paul is letting Timothy know who to trust and who not to trust. He is dangerous. Paul said, the guy did me much evil. Lord have mercy. This is powerful stuff, y'all. I said, this is powerful stuff. Now watch this. Notice what he says in verse 16. Paul says, at my first answer, no man stood with me. But all men forsook me. I pray that it may not be laid to their charge. You see, Paul experienced the same thing here that Jesus experienced in the Garden of Gethsemane. At the most crucial point in Christ's life, at the most crucial point in the Lord Jesus Christ's life, his disciples, all of them, forsook him and fled. But I love the next verse. Listen to what Paul said in the next verse. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me. Glory to God. God is with you, saints. You are never alone. Paul says everybody forsook him, but not the Lord. Paul says, notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthen me, glory to God, that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Glory be to God. You re remember in 1 Peter 5, 8, Peter says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil goes about like a roaring lion. Listen, Paul said, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Praise God. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. Paul is saying, God will deliver me from all evil and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. God is going to deliver you from all evil. He has your back. You are never alone. Paul says, even though everybody deserted me, notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me. He was by my side. In my greatest need, he was there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful people tuning into this broadcast. Somebody on this broadcast, someone tuning in, you have been forsaken, you have been neglected, you have been rejected. You have been deserted. You've been let down and disappointed. But I got good news for you. The Lord is with you, saints. That's what he said to Gideon. The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's right there with you, saints. Father, we thank you. I pray strength into your people. I pray strength in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I want to give someone tuning into this broadcast, I want to give you an opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. He loves you with an everlasting love. He died on Calvary Cross so that you and I could receive forgiveness of sins. Without any further hesitation, I want you to bow your head and say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to die on Calvary Cross for me. They crucified him. They buried him in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, you raise him from the dead. 
Jesus is now seated at your right hand. And soon and very soon, he is coming again. From this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Let me and my lovely wife, if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to welcome you into the family of God. To support the work of God, the preaching of the gospel, visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry app. Many of you have downloaded the Sean Pinder Ministries app. Amen. You can give through that app as well. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash up account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Venmo account. That address is at Sean Pender Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 27. 26 McKinney, Texas 75070. Get ready to experience the extraordinary in Plano. The Lamb of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, is headed in your direction. You are getting ready to get a miracle. Shout yes! Pastor Sean and Amy Pender are hosting three nights of miracles in Plano, Texas. You foul devil of sickness. Come out! Come out! Come out! This young lady had fibromyalgia, Pastor well, what, Sean. But what happened tonight? I got healed. Now I there's no more pain. No. Don't run across that platform for me, sis. Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! The dates, August 13th through 15th. Doors will open at 6 p.m. nightly. The event will start at 7 p.m. nightly. Venue, the Plano Event Center, 2000 East Spring Creek Parkway, Plano, Texas, 75074. Join hundreds in this life-changing encounter to experience the extraordinary and witness God's power. Click on the link below and register free today. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you and thank you, our wonderful partners and viewing audience, for your support and your prayers. God bless you. See you again on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast.